So today was our first day of actual rehearsals. It was really cool. We um we got to the rehearsal space and uh and we kind of said, is there any songs we know from the album already, like all three of us? And so we just kind of learned Crowds and Loud Noises and this older song that we had written for it called Rain. It was two easy songs to just kind of pick up and jam along with. So this morning, well, I guess it was afternoon. It was like one o'clock. We went to Steak and Shake. And like there used to be Steak and Shake in Cedar Rapids, like somewhere. And I think I went to it like once. But that's like not there, so I haven't been to a steak and shake in a while. And so David's like, hey guys, I'm gonna go steak and shake. So we went to steak and shake. And the first thing that I noticed was the manager's eyes. Holy cow. His eyes were so blue in such a dark, piercing, shiny way. Like, it was unnatural. It's kind of hard to know where to start. Like, I mean, when you think, oh yeah, we're going to go rehearse an album or whatever, um, but then it's like, if you don't have all the songs written, which we don't necessarily, you're not solid on all the arrangements, you can't really just decide, okay, we're going to practice. And so David's like, uh, uh, back at the apartment, he's like, oh, we got all these coupons because we're poor. Uh, and so we're like, okay, let's look through the coupons. And so I found a coupon that said, like, Double tape burger, herp, derp, bacon, rip, rip, and shake. I'm like, okay, I'll get that. And so I got there and I got that, and it was like discounted because of the coupons. So I'm like, okay, steak and shake, probably gonna be like alright, like an alright burger, like you'd expect, and like an alright shake. I mean, like, it can't be that great if it like shut down Cedar Rapids. Obviously, this is David's last album with us because he lives down here in Alabama, and you know, we've been writing the thing for three years, and for the most recent year, it's been pretty much me and Riley have written like 90% of what you're going to hear on the finished album. And we haven't had the greatest communication with David, like we'd Skype each other usually like once a month or whatever, um, but there's quite a few songs that he just hasn't heard or he's not straight on the arrangement with. So tonight, you know, we even had some issues. After Once we came back after dinner, we just kind of decided, okay, let's just play through the first disc and not stop, like not talk about arrangements. Even if we don't know the song, there is at least one person who knows each song. So let's just play it. Everybody else will kind of follow along. We'll not learn it. We'll just do it. Boy, was I wrong. Get back to the, uh, the old apartment. Sit down. Oh, let's eat some food. And uh, I, I can sit in the shake on the way back. Shake was delicious. We had a mocha shake. Didn't really taste like mocha, but it was great. And so we get back to the apartment, and I'm like, okay, let's sit down to eat these burgers that are probably going to be okay. No, they were fantastic burgers. And what that led to is David kind of hearing these songs that he hadn't really heard before, or maybe he just heard once in a demo or whatever, and then all these songs sound the same. Because he'd only written, I think, one song on the first disc. And so that kind of led to a big thing of like, we need to... Because um, we, we, we go into it with the mindset of, you know, don't be married to your arrangements because this needs to be a creative space and, you know, if, it, if a song needs to be better, we need to be, we need, we need to be able to work with each other and make it better. So don't be married to your arrangements. But then that led to David thinking, like, he, you know, he didn't really know all the songs and, you know, we didn't really know David's songs and things like that. And so we would play it through, like we decided, not knowing the arrangement. And then he's like, well, those all sound the same but he wasn't really hearing the arrangements that we had picked out because we didn't take the time to, you know, learn the songs before we played them. Dylan got like a chili cheese dog. David, I don't even know if he got anything, but my burger, it was good. So these next few days are just going to be spent getting on the same page, which we did tonight. We eventually kind of got it figured out and took it song by song and said, okay, here's what makes this one different from the next song. Tomorrow, we're going to work our way through disc two, just kind of playing everything, but instead of just playing it blindly, we're going to stop each song and say, okay, this is the arrangement of this, here's why we wrote it to sound like this and to have this arrangement, so that then any critique on the arrangement we make is not done blindly and out of like a misinterpretation of the arrangement. It's going to be out of, um, okay, now we all know the arrangement, how can we make it better? My vocabulary really doesn't expand enough to explain the, uh, the flavor 
or the uh, the texture, but like as far as greasy, disgusting, oily um, burgers uh, that were probably like pre-made, uh, it was really good. Uh, also, I'm not wearing any pants right now, so I can take that for what it's worth, whatever that means.